what I was sent here to do was to ask for that rampage of appreciation for the last two days and for the grid All and, right, the, so, and the, so, so the beasts and the... Let's get to it. Let, let's get to it. Because, yeah. okay. so, <laughs> <clears throat> so in the, in the most general of terms, because <clears throat> I don't have to get specific, especially in the beginning of this, I acknowledge that there is value in all that I am. I came here with reason and value and I've been finding my way in it along the way as I've been going. And the contrast has helped me to define who I am. And I sort of kind of like who I've become. The contrast has defined me. And I know that there is more that has been defined than I have been able to figure out how to allow. And I'm eager in discovering how to allow more fully who I really am. When I think about becoming more, sometimes I acknowledge that I'm not complete or I'm, I'm, I'm not fulfilled. And there's a sort of lackful vibration in that, that I know is not serving me. And I appreciate the emotional guidance I get when I feel that because I get a little um, empty feeling whenever I strive for improvement. And I can feel that there's something in the recognizing that striving for improvement is not a necessary thing because evolution and expansion is the most natural thing in the universe. I can't cease expanding. And so I don't need to make improvement or expansion my goal because I can't stop it no matter what. So now I'm realizing that my work all along has been in the recognition that I've already expanded and now I'm working on allowing that expansion to be revealed to me in more and more and more ways. And I am certain that the path to that for me here and now, and we're speaking without exception to every one of you who's here in this room, the path to me for that here and now at this level of understanding, at this place of evolution, at this progress of what I put into my vortex, at this understanding of who I am, at this emotional basis of what I'm feeling, I now get it that appreciation is my final key to not only discovering the fullness of who I am, but to maintaining the fullness of who I am and to uplifting in the only way that I can teach, which is the power of my own example, that to others. And so I figure that since appreciation is the key and since there is so much around to appreciate and since I am a teacher to the very core of my being and since I want to uplift others that this decision to just appreciate everywhere I go and everyone I see and everything I see and everything I do about me or about others must surely be not only the easiest thing that I've ever done but the most progressive thing that I've ever done, the most mm -hmm. productive thing that I've ever done, the most effective thing that I've ever done. How is it possible that the easiest thing for me to do is also the most effective thing for me to do? <laughs> I'm finally understanding that there's no price to pay, that it is about ease. It, it is so mm -hmm. easy to see the face of the beautiful woman who was in the chair just now, who was just feeling appreciation. I love her so much. I love each and every, we're speaking from you, your vantage point, each and every person who sat in the chair and just picked and picked and picked and picked at another piece and another piece and another piece who provided for me and for others who share this moment in time the most expansive leading edge conversation that anyone has ever had with anyone and all that has ever been from the beginning of time. It is so exhilarating to be out here on the leading edge knowing who I am, feeling who I am, feeling the fullness of that which I am in this moment and sharing it with others who are feeling it too. Appreciation isn't even a big enough word. There are no words to describe the fulfillment that I feel. And and now I'm beginning to understand that appreciation in its verbal form is only uh, words that don't really matter. It's the feeling within me that I've been going for all along. And I can't really separate or distinguish the difference between appreciation in its purest form and love in its purest form and worthiness in its purest form and clarity in its purest form and, and 
exhilaration in its purest form and passion in its purest form I so adore being tuned in tapped in turned on allowing the fullness of who I am to be present in this moment in time for the advantage that it provides for me and for the advantage that it gives to everyone who has the benefit of getting to lay eyes on me <laughs> I love this life experience I love coming forth into this time space reality I love the source energy from which I come I love knowing that source is aware of me I love knowing that source is wanting and is right out here on the leading edge with me I love knowing that I have access to that I love knowing that I can in any moment in time in my powerful now see my world through the eyes of source and I now understand that appreciation in its purest form is me just having worked myself into a vibrational place where source is looking through me at someone or something we've enjoyed this interaction more than words can convey and after all we've discovered we don't need words anyway do we because we have the language of vibration there is great love here for you and as always we remain blissfully and eternally right along with you in the vortex